There are two things in life. That which is produced and that which is aware of that which is produced. We are produced. Everything in our consciousness, everything in our life is produced. And there is that which is aware of that which is produced. That which is aware of that which is produced is the true self. It's the inner heart. It's the inner heart of the human being, is that which is inside the inner heart. It's the sacred cave inside the mountain that you achieve, that you find, that becomes a part of you when you have self-realization. There are two things in life, that which is produced, and that which is produced is everything that we know, everything that we perceive, and it is perception itself. That which is produced is all that we know, everything that we have knowledge of, the world as we see it, our own brain, our mind, our life, our consciousness, our awareness of our consciousness. That which is produced is that which is produced. That which is produced is that which is produced. And that which is produced is the world as we experience it, as we see it, as we perceive it. So we can see everything, we know everything because of that which is produced, which means that basically we live in a virtual reality, you could say, because we live inside an interface, you know, we, we live inside a channel of perception, and our channel of perception is made available to us through consciousness and through the human program. I have explained uh, enough about what the human program is, that was my life's work, in a way, to explain the human program. And that is the totality of how, of how the brain and the nervous system works together in interaction. The human program is that which is produced. The human program is that which produces that which is produced. The human program is that which produces that which is produced. And then there is the awareness of that which is produced. And the awareness of that which is produced, the inner knowledge of that which is produced, is the true self. That which is separated in a way, we cannot even say separated, but that which stands alone, the true self is that which stands alone in a, in a, some sense. It's the inner cave, it's the inner cave in the mountain inside the human heart, which knows everything that is produced, that has awareness of the fact that Whatever is produced, is in fact produced. So this is also the dark matter in us. We, you could say that the dark matter, perhaps, is, is the true self. Is that which is devoid of consciousness, but at the same time it has the subtle awareness that doesn't seem to be conscious, but at the same time is that which has the subtle awareness of consciousness itself of and of that which is produced. So there are two things in life, that which is produced and the awareness of that which is produced. Usually we lose ourselves in that which is produced. The human being lives in that. That which is produced is the temple and the world and the arena and the platform and the stage for all human activity. Ex experience and perception. That which is produced is everything that we know. And all human beings live inside that. We live inside that. 
and the people who have so called self-realization the self-realization that i'm talking about now where you see the true self as that which is aware of that which is produced that which is aware of that which is produced is the true self is the dark matter inside the circus of consciousness when we find the true self when we find and are able to abide in the true self in that which exists in each human heart when we find that pure essence the parabrahman in us the that which is prior to consciousness that which is prior to the i am the i amness that we feel is that which is produced the i amness that we that is our life that is our existence is that which is produced and we can liberate ourselves from that through spiritual practice through the deconstruction you might say of that which is produced you can liberate yourself from your own mind but that takes practice it takes work it's not done quickly you know and it's not done through meditation you have to go deeper than meditation in order to free yourself from that which is produced meditation is actually just some sauce inside the dish inside the food you have to go deeper you have to become one with the plate with the china plate under the dish the dish is our life the meal itself is our life is the world as we perceive it but we have to go down below into the ground into the cave into the deepest inner heart of the mountain that is inside the human heart to be the awareness of that which is produced to see that which is produced and to liberate ourselves from that which is produced this is possible but it's not easy it takes time it may take a whole lifetime it may take 10 lifetimes if there is something has a sequence of lifetimes i have no idea about that no one knows it's easy to say but no one knows anything about that what we do know is that we are that which is a result of the human program we are produced by the human program our consciousness our mind our mind brain activity our experience of our own soul is that which is produced even our soul is that which is produced only the parabrahman only that which is prior to consciousness is that which is not produced so in order to free yourself from that which is produced in order to free yourself from the neurosis of attachment to consciousness because the attachment to consciousness becomes some sort of a neurosis in the human mind brain system in order to free yourself from that you have to be able to surrender to that which is not produced and that takes courage that takes inner confidence and you won't gain you will not gain that conf- confidence without practice it's like walking on ice on a lake in winter time slowly and carefully you have to make sure if the ice is strong enough if it can carry you if you are safe on the ice even if the ice may be very thin even if you fall down through the ice even if the ice cracks open you have to have the inner confidence to accept that you have to accept to fall you have to accept to vanish you have to accept to disappear you have to accept to fall out of that which is produced you have to accept to fall out of the neurosis and the neurosis is the attachment to consciousness the neurosis is the attachment to that which is produced 
So in order to be free, we have to be strong enough and to be in balance. We have to find the balance in ourselves that is able to accept beingness inside that which is prior to that which is produced. This takes practice. It's inner spiritual practice. In India they call it sadhana. It's just inner practice. To become a part of the true self, to become able to live inside the true self, you have to let go of the neurosis that keeps you trapped in that which is produced, in that which keeps you trapped in consciousness. You have to be able to trust that which is prior to that which is produced. You have to be able to trust your own life as a life inside the true self, inside Parabrahman, inside the essence that is not, that does not rely on that which is produced, that does not rely on the house of cards, that does not rely on that which is produced. And of course we produce that which is produced ourselves after it, this has been available to us, after this has been made available to us, after this has been made possible to us and for us through the human program. The, the human program is that which produces the human being. The human program is that produces our life. And in order to let go, to be free of that, so that we can fall down into and merge with true self, we have to cultivate and practice this ability to be at one with that which is not, in a way. That which is not, the non-existent absolute, as someone calls it, takes practice. It's not done quickly. We have to be able to understand that everything and anything that we are is just simply something that is produced. When we die, that which is produced will fall off from the world because consciousness will die. The circus will collapse. It will close. The circus will close. And only the true self will be there until everything is gone, perhaps. If everything is gone, if we die completely when we die, then the human programs, the human program dies first, then the neurosis dies, our attachment to that which is produced, and then finally, maybe, that which we experience or is aware of as Parabrahman, as that which is prior to existence, that which is prior to consciousness, even that will cease to exist, and then it's just zero and nothingness, and we're dead, and that's all, that's all that happens. If something goes on, uh, well, of course something goes on, I mean, there's energy and chemicals, enzymes, proteins, bacteria, that goes from our body into the environment, which means nature itself, about whether something else survives, something that we can truly say is essential to our deepest core essential being. If some of that survives our death, we have no idea, no one knows. It's a part of the neurosis to make up our mind about that because it's just a projection, you know. It's of something that is produced. We produce that which is produced. We produce a projection and we say that, yes, reincarnation is something that exists. My soul will survive or that in me which is part of Brahman will survive. That which in me which is nothingness will survive. That which is prior to that which is produced will survive. But we don't know anything about that. We don't know. The only thing that we know 
is that the human program is that which produces our life as we know it, as we experience it, as we perceive it. So to find and accept and acknowledge and experience that which is prior to that which is produced, the underlying self, the self behind the self, to find that, to find the self behind the self, to find the inner core inside the mountain of the inner heart of the human being, is something that is worthwhile for us. And this is just a talk of that which we can say is the totality of being. The totality of being is that which is produced, and it is the awareness of that which is produced. Thank you.